Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. As you can tell, today's video is all about a patio makeover slash like refresh. Basically everything out here just needed to be deep cleaned. I needed to add some color. Um, over winter, this backyard just takes a hit. So I always love when springtime is here. Um, plus we were also getting it ready because a few days after I filmed this, our house went on the market. If you wanna hear that story and how everything went, definitely stay tuned. I'll be talking about it later. Now, you all know that I'm not a big fan of color, but there's something about like cleaning products and then flowers outside. I just think it's gorgeous. I will say I did find like a Pinterest photo where they did like all white flowers. I definitely wanna do that at the next house, maybe next year or maybe this year if I get my pots done over there. I have no idea when we're actually moving in. I get asked that a lot. We're just kind of at the mercy of the builder. But since we were listing our house for sale, I definitely wanted a pop of color and it just helped bring this backyard to life because our grass is still dormant right now. So it wasn't green. Everything was just kind of blah. But once we got these in, it just really helped to add life back there. I had so much dirt left over in these like planters that I didn't even buy any fresh and it was just still so moist underneath. So it was actually nice. I'm sure some of you with green thumbs are probably like screaming at your screen, but um, the chances of these making it all summer, it's just not gonna happen. We're gonna be packing and moving. I don't know if the new people are gonna take care of them um, because this is actually gonna be their second home. They don't live like in our state. so. Like I said, I'm gonna get into that here in a little bit, but I just wanted to go ahead and get this video going and start with a pop of color, just so we can all get super excited for spring and this warmer weather. It's so hard to stay on top of the world When the world keeps telling you who you should be All these people telling you what you need Oh, darling, only you can set your spirit free Pay attention now, I ain't gonna stop it, stop it Honey, everything you need is in your pocket So as I was planting these flowers, I was already like planning and envisioning in my head what I'm gonna be doing with our next um, back patio. Hopefully there'll be a new house back patio makeover this year. There really should be. If everything works out like it's supposed to, I'll definitely be doing it. But I'm trying to decide what color like string lights to do. So in our last house, we did black and I loved it. <laughs> but in this house, I wanted to change it up and we did white. You can kind of see it right there. There's white lights with white post. So I'm trying to decide, should I do black or white in the next house? So if you have a vote, definitely comment down below because I'm really undecided. I've made so many decisions lately. I can't even decide on what color lights to hang in the backyard. I have a video from this house and our previous house on how you make these like planters with concrete so you can put like the post in it so you can hang lights. So if you're wanting to do something like that, 
It's really simple. It takes a little bit of work, especially if you do it like in the dead of summer and it's hot. But if you can get it done, um, I just feel like it brings so much life and just adds so much to the back patio. So you can definitely check those out. I will say be careful how much concrete you're adding to them. Um, we have to add a ton because it gets super windy here in Oklahoma. So when I'm trying to plant flowers, I can only dig so far because like half of them are concrete. So just keep that in mind. If it's not super windy, you can do less concrete to hold them in place. Um, but if you're like me and live in a windy state, you just kind of have to, and then you just kind of push those flowers in best you can. I'm gonna link this hose for you because it's my favorite hose ever. What's super nice is when you turn the water on, it actually expands. So it's actually a really long hose, but when you're not using it, you just let out all the water and you can just keep it in a planter box. I keep it right there. So it looks like there's supposed to be flowers in there, but I just keep like dog toys on one side and then my hose on the other one and it just hides it really well. Um, it's not like bulky to move around. You don't have to like hang it up on your house unless you want to. And they're just super easy easy to use and really 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 lightweight so if you're needing something like that I feel like I talk about it all the time especially during the summer but definitely check it out because they're amazing I know I surely would. Now I'm going to start working on getting all these windows clean. It can take a little bit of time and they were really dirty from being out here all winter. Plus, like I mentioned, we're selling our house. So I want people when they're walking through our house to be able to see through the window. So I'm going to work on those and then I'm going to go ahead and get you caught up on the set of our house. I had to take a big deep breath so I can tell this story. But basically we knew we were listing on a Friday. Savannah started a comp that day. And when we're at dance competitions, we're there like eight to 12 hours. So I thought this is either gonna be perfect or this is gonna be stressful because at least we're already out of the house. I will say the first showing happened while we were at home. So we were able just to put the boys in the car and we went and drove around. Um, and those people put in an amazing offer. I was actually rooting for them, but there were some contingencies. Well, about 30 minutes before we were leaving for the dance competition, the wind really picked up here in Oklahoma, especially in our area. Windier than I've ever seen it, and it knocked down a few um, like electric poles in our town and wiped out like half of our town's <laughs> electricity, which of course it got our house. So it was dark, there was no lights, it was a warmer day, so the house was getting warm. So I called our realtor, I was like, just cancel the rest of the showings for the day. Um, we have a family member that lives in our neighborhood. I said, as soon as her lights come back on, we'll let you know. But come to find out later, our realtor told us she actually still wanted to see it, even though it was in the dark, even though like our patio furniture was everywhere. <laughs> like it could not have been a worse time to show our house. Like lights are off, the air's not running, it's getting super warm. Um, our patio furniture was just like all over the place. Um, but they came in because her parents are from Houston and they actually put in an amazing offer and it was above ask. So every person that made us an offer, it was above our list price. So this market is thriving again. The next day we went ahead and showed it throughout the entire day because we were gone once again at the dance comp. Um, and we just had some amazing offers to choose from, but the second one was definitely the winner. It didn't have any contingencies. So we are super excited to be under contract. I can't believe the people that bought it were the people that walked through when we had no lighting or anything. They still haven't seen it other than that. And the people that are actually buying it have never walked through the home. 
So I'm curious to see, I'm sure eventually they'll fly in and we can clean it up for them so they can come see it and maybe the daughter can see it with lights on, but that's just how it goes. So if you ever have a hiccup like that, just remember with God, all things are possible when it's meant to be, it'll work out. Another thing I want to go ahead and bring up right now while George gets in my camera shot <laughs> is um, just this market. I was so nervous. If you follow me over on Instagram, you already know the majority of the story, so you kind of stay more up to date if you want to follow me over there. Um, but the market kind of scared me. We had a lot of new houses that were sitting in our neighborhood. We had a lot of staged houses where people were living in them, sitting in like our neighborhood for months, several months not selling. So I know it's so easy to look in and be like, we knew your house was gonna sell, why were you worried? And it's like, there's tons of beautiful houses around mine, even new ones that no one's lived in and they were just sitting there. So ours did have a lot of like perks because we've already done the fence and the shed and the patio. There's so many upgrades we've done. So I think that helped out. So if you're gonna be listing in this market, I cannot stress enough to clean, 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 declutter, even if you're keeping it, just get it out in the garage, get it in a building or a shed and stage it so well. Like don't think about what you love, think about like what the masses love because I really think it helped sell our house and I have a whole video on staging your house to sell so definitely check that out I know you will find a way from all of this I know there's a bright day for you tell me what are you saying what game are we playing everything was so dirty and dusty out here i will say we do have like a tv cover i have like a table cover and it even like covers the chairs so everything stays nice and clean but you see all of this from my living room and so it's just so hard unless it's like snowing or gonna storm really bad i typically just leave it off even in the winter just so like when we open our blinds every day we're not staring at just like covers over everything now like i said if it's about to snow or big storms coming in that i can catch it before it rains i will cover it up but it hadn't been <laughs> so everything was so dirty i'm going to show you these chairs up close like there's no way anyone could sit in these i definitely would never let my realtor show my house with them looking like this so it just takes a little bit of effort but everything feels brand new once you're finished cleaning it <laughs> So right here, it looks clean, right? Like it looks fine, it doesn't look super bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray a product on here. You're gonna see me wipe it down just in a few places and then I'm gonna show you how dirty that paper towel gets. I 
I typically use like cleaning cloths or rags, but I knew out here it was gonna be so dirty that I really didn't wanna mess any of them up. I didn't wanna throw them in my washer. So on this table, I thought I'm gonna go ahead and just use some paper towels so it gets that first layer off. I did clean this a few times. Like I kept cleaning it until my cloth or like paper towels were staying clean, just so you know. Another reason I wanted to get all this furniture really clean and looking nice is because we are actually leaving it with the house. So everything in our backyard staying except for Chase's Traeger. Obviously he's not gonna let me <laughs> get rid of that. But I just wanted to start fresh at the new house. It's like a new design, new layout. We're gonna have an in-ground pool. Um, and I just kind of wanted to start over and get pieces that fit that space. At our last house, I made a mistake and brought pretty much everything from that house into this current house. And then I pretty much sold everything because it didn't fit right or look right. So we're still taking a lot of like our bedroom furniture and living room furniture. I've been buying stuff and just going ahead and switching it over and we're putting it in this house but it's for the next house but all this patio stuff it just fit this space so perfect like it was just made for it we designed the concrete um, so we could have like a rounded sectional um, so I just wanted the new um, homeowners to enjoy that so I was getting it all nice and clean I'm sure I'm gonna have to clean it again before they move in but it's gonna be so nice when those people walk in they have blinds curtains a lot of furniture, just a lot of things that are going to be staying with the home. It's out of control, out of control, oh baby. That's just another tip as well. If you're going to be moving houses and you're not taking pieces with you and they fit the home really well, um, I left mine in the house and I left a paper out saying everything that was going to be staying with the home. So when the people were buying, they could see like, yes, we could have that new house down the street or around the corner, or we can have this one and it's going to come with all of these items and it's just an extra perk. And sometimes when you sell used items, you don't get a lot out of them, but it will help seal the deal on the sale of a house. So we're even leaving like our refrigerator. Um, we have a lot of like baskets in our mudroom area. I wrote everything down and how much we spent buying or working on all those items just like our concrete we extended it in the backyard we spent a lot of money on that we put how much the fence cost how much it cost to stain it and seal it our shed how much it was to like have that built and moved into our yard um, I even put how much we spent on like our refrigerator and I made sure that was nice and cleaned out because we're leaving that with the house. Um, so just adding those on a separate piece of paper does help so they know what they're getting. But I wanted to show you right here the before and after of just cleaning this chair. Like this chair looks like it needs to be trashed. It can't recover, but all you have to do is wipe it down with a little soap and water and it looks brand new again. Sleep, 
We are making progress. Things are looking way better out here and they just feel better. You know, like when you touch a dirty table and it's like dried out or I was touching these chairs and they were just getting like my fingers dirty. Um, it's just so nice to have like clean pieces. If someone walks out here, if we want to come out here and have lunch right now, it's been really beautiful here in Oklahoma. We can come sit out here, turn the TV on in the evening, relax use the fire pit. We can actually sit down and not worry about getting dirty. We might blow away, but we won't get dirty. <laughs> Now that everything was looking so nice and fresh, I looked down and we had like kind of some rust spots on our concrete, even on the rugs. Um, these chairs have been rained on a lot. When they fall over, I feel like it gets in those holes. Um, and I was like, we can't leave that. Everything looks so nice and clean. So I had Chase grab a power washer. We recently upgraded this one. The one we had before finally went out because we use it all the time, but he loves this one. So I'll link it for you just in case you're needing to power wash anything in your life. It saves you a ton of money because it will clean up so many things. Like look at that rust on the concrete. It's just coming right up. I'm gonna show you cleaning the outdoor rugs as well. I'm a huge outdoor rug believer. I love rugs outside. I feel like it just extends your living. It feels homey. And I'm not gonna lie, most of you were probably around for this, but I would just use our indoor rugs outdoor. Like when I was done with them on the inside, I'd bring them out. And here in Oklahoma, it just did not go well. Um, when it rains, they hold so much water. I would have to get like my shampooer just to suck up all the water. So I finally broke down and got an outdoor rug and they really do make a difference. They don't hold water. They're made to dry out better. You can power wash them to clean them. I just use like double-sided tape to tape them down, but I love a good outdoor rug. I'll try to link some like down below in my description box. Um, I will definitely be buying some for the new house, <laughs> especially since these are stained. So I got these cleaned up for the new owners, but I need to do a little shopping as well for our next home. Oh, and just one more tip about rugs. Outdoor rugs are amazing indoor rugs, especially if you have kids or pets and you don't want to destroy it. Outdoor rugs have come a long way. Like they look nice. They have great design, so they'll match the inside of your house, but they're also made to withstand like the outdoor elements, which is like kids and pets. <laughs> so if you want a nice rug that you can clean and you don't have to stress about, get an outdoor rug for inside. When I lived at home, the dog biscuit duty was always my job. I remember that's what my neighbor would always call it. He was like, are you picking up the dog biscuits? <laughs> Which you guys know what we're doing right now. I don't even want to have to say it. Um, so doing this after winter, it's always so much work. And we already did that off camera, but it was, you know, a month or so ago. But if you're showing your house or you're having people over or you just use your backyard a lot, it's good just to take some time. Go ahead and pick up those doggy biscuits. You don't have to deal with them. We have two dogs. When it was just Tiger, we never really noticed it. He goes to like the backyard. It's tiny. George is a little bit of a different story. 
So it's just nice to go ahead and do that. We were showing our house. We knew people would be like walking in the yard and wanting to check it all out. So we made sure to get that nice and clean. And then this next clip is from Chase. He requested I film this and slow it down for you. So I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> It took some time, but it's always worth it. I know it's so hard to get motivated to get started, but if you can just remember what it feels like when you're finished, it's just always worth it. Now we love opening up our blinds, our windows are clean, we can see our nice clean patio. I'm really gonna miss this space. I really loved this patio. Like it was our dream patio, so I'm hoping we can do something like it or even better at the next house. But thank you guys so much for being here. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos because there's gonna be a lot of new home videos coming here shortly. But I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.